and welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we will watch the seventh episode of Big Order. If you want to check out our reaction to the seventh episode of Big Order, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comments section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And thanks for watching. So, this time on Big Order. Uh, well, I think mm -hmm. we should first start out with the flashback yeah, well, of the, uh, uh, the white-haired guy. Yeah, the colonel. The colonel. Uh, basically, he used to be a scientist who worked with Eiji's father. And then, uh, well, as it turns out, Eiji's father developed the Daisy system. And how that came about, uh, apparently, our the white-haired guy, what was his name again? Uh, I don't remember. It's, uh, he, I just referred to him as the Colonel. Okay. So the Colonel, the Colonel made this tech that basically it was able to uh, harness harness energy from human will or yeah, it turns human willpower into actual energy. Yeah. So uh, wow. Um, I think, I think, I, uh, I think, contemplate that <laughs> he, he reversed the, he reversed what, what was going on and turned humans into will, human energy into willpower. And that's what turned, that's what made Daisy. And that willpower is now is able to grant wishes. Able to be sentient and yeah, act on its own. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't say. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with Daisy, but basically, the the thing is, he created the system that destroyed the world, and he's trying to and, do it. And, and he did that. Well, yeah, he did that willfully. Like he he wanted Ag to destroy the world because Ag didn't actually destroy the world enough for him. Apparently, you know, only like. You know, three and a half billion people dead, but hey, baby steps. Baby right. Steps. Yeah, and so he's trying to finish the job, more or less. Pretty much. And uh, yeah, that was a nasty little reveal. Mm -hmm. I mean, the original, what I thought was the original tech was fantastic. Oh yeah, well you see it used to pretty much enhance prosthetic limbs and all that stuff. Basically it makes, makes auto mail. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing, but yeah, you see, as uh, you see, uh, Genmai, uh, H's father, kind of descend into madness, more or less, and that one reveal just totally did a one, you know, uh, made my opinion of the group of ten take a one eighty. Yeah, I definitely. thought they were just using A.G. and Senna as pawns, you know, so they can just take over the world, you know, the same old dream, as Bond once said. But yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, that's totally it. As it turns out, they, uh, they did not. They want to free the world. They're not so bad. Or at least put it uh, not under Genmai's rule. So, um, as we continue on with, with our story here, uh, we get uh, infiltration to the Big Ten's um, base here, and Cena gets kidnapped. That was a mediocre fight. Yeah, I mean, the fight, the fight itself wasn't that great. Um, what I really liked about, the, I guess, about that whole sequence wasn't so much the fight nearly as much as it was the sort of uh, battle of wits between the two commanders. Yeah. Which, of so, course, the colonel won. In the end. With an RPG base. So cool. Actually, no, so I got well, hijacked. He still got... So, no, he, he still lost, but he did he did beat the he, original plan. Yeah, he wrecked Momotaro. With um, three RPGs to the base, but that whole scene really—it really shows Daisy off as a undefinable entity. Yeah, you don't know whose side she's on. You don't know if she's able to be controlled or not, because she's there and she won't go away. She's like a chaotic, neutral force of nature this point. But she only showed up because she was called. Yeah, 
It's yeah. really weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then at the end of the episode, I guess it reveals Senna to be kind of a uh, another power. Yeah. Uh, another because basically she ba- she pretty much like just reveals that she knows everything and then starts recruiting the the uh, porters that are there on the boat. Is that actually her order? Yeah, if she can identify um, what you know what, what orders people I'm have. I'm not even entirely sure that she has an order because she hasn't actually used one. Yeah, yeah. she has the eye. She has the one eye that all the orders have. Well, she has she has the one eye that's being controlled. Oh. That 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 cross in the eye is Gen uh, Gen I's control thing. No. Um, so it was really interesting that uh, her and Ren were taking a shower together. Oh, I bet you felt that part. Oh so. yeah. Well, the interesting part was she turned around and was like, "I remember that you stabbed me." By the way, with yeah. a look that said "You're dead," she just <laughs> and but, then yeah. So uh, yeah, we're cu- we're actually coming up on the end on this one because there's only uh, ten, 10 episodes. episodes. <laughs> we only have three left. Damn. But uh, that's gonna do it for this time on Anime Reaction. As always, I'm Rizzo. I'm Zero. I'm DK. See you, See you next time. time.